Hey there, it's Jen and I'm here with another video for Hip Kit Club. Today I am focusing on all of the exclusive die cuts that come in this month's kit. So I'm using um, these ones from the main kit and I am using this photo of my daughter and her cousins and I'm going to talk about how much they have been hanging out this summer. They have hung out, she's been somewhere every single day just hanging out with cousins and we haven't had anything big planned so it's been good for her. Anyway, I thought the colors matched really well because each girl's wearing a different color shirt and those colors are kind of represented in the die cuts. So that's where I'm going to start and I'll put you on fast forward and talk you through my process. Alright, so uh, I'm going to just uh, trim off the branding strip off of my white cardstock, And I felt like I wanted to start with white A because I'm going to use a lot of color on this layout and I want those, I want to be able to use a bunch of different colors because all the die cuts have... I mean, they all have a bunch of different colors, so I wanted to use white as my background. But um, after I got the white there and I started playing with some of the die cuts, I really felt like it needed something more. So you'll see me play around here for a minute with the die cuts, and I'm kind of setting them out, trying to make a little bit of a grid. And I knew before I started this layout that I wanted to put circles behind each one of these icons, but I thought I would see how it looked. Uh, without putting circles behind so you can see how it looks there and it's really fun to do it that way too I think that this could definitely work for you to just um, Make a grid to showcase a whole bunch of embellishments like this. I think it's a really fun idea But I did want to use some circles so at first I pulled out this little pinked edge circle But it's a little too small so I punch out some one and a quarter inch Circles and those are gonna work better. I think I have some one and a quarter and some one and a half inch circles in the end um, and so this is where I decide that I want to do a little bit of mixed media. So I have the color kit uh, that has the Lindy Stamp Gang mists in it, and I am just grabbing those now. I, I sprayed just a little bit along with some water on this packaging, and I'm just uh, using the packaging technique to just kind of lay it down. I didn't do any gesso or anything like that. I was feeling a little bit lazy, and so I just kind of put it on there and it ends up looking actually really cute but it, I always have that uh, tinge of regret at the beginning thinking this is a hot mess like what am I going to do to fix this um, and I just have to persevere. Missy always, Missy Whitten always makes it look super easy but I think it's and it is easy but it's hard to know that it's going to look good. So anyway, I'm just doing some splatters as well after I got the color on. I just wanted uh, a little bit more texture to it. So I'm just doing splatters of each one of the colors. And so you can see there's that red, blue, pink look. I used a paper towel to dab this up. And then um, I like that you get a little bit of the green and purpley where the colors mix and a little bit of orange too so it kind of pulls in all of the colors uh, so I'm using my heat gun to dry this a little bit because I want to put some more stuff on top of it but I want this to be dry first so I'm just making sure it's dry enough uh, and then I'm going to put some white paint on it so that's what I'm doing here and this helps dull the colors down just a little bit which I think is perfect because it makes them uh, match with the die cuts even better. So I'm just using white acrylic paint and this is a little scraping tool from Vicki Boone. I really like it when I'm scraping on gesso or paint. Um, not necessarily when I'm doing like a modeling paste or something, but uh, when I have a paint-like medium, I do like to use it. So I'm just drying this again because I do want to use some uh, the stencil that came in the kit, which is just lines. I think lines look so good on so many things. And I'm just going to put some modeling paste through the stencil. So I'm trying to decide where I want my photo to go. And I decide to put my photo over to the left and have most of the color be to the right of my photo. And so I'm going to concentrate my lines to the right hand side here. And I'm just doing kind of a messy job. I don't want it to be perfect. I just want it to have some cool looking lines. And um, this looks you can get more a more prominent look from the lines if you put mixed media on top after you do the lines but I wanted them to be a little bit more subtle so they uh, are very subtle and they add texture you'll see in the close-up photos that they really do add a lot to it but um, they are very subtle here so at this point I'm waiting for that modeling paste to dry and I decide to just punch out my circles so I went and got my one and a half inch punch which wasn't working very well uh, so I ended up having to cut out some of those punches after I tried. I was using a really thick cardstock, so that's probably why. Um, but 
right now I'm just kind of deciding if I want each piece to go on a one and a half inch circle or a one and a quarter inch circle and I'm punching or I'm popping each one of them up. So that's what I'm going to do while while I wait for that mixed media to dry. I know sometimes it can be a pain having to wait, but if you have something to do in the meantime, then it works perfectly. So uh, I'm just going to place all of these on the circles and then I, I can get working on my layout. So I'll skip through that part for you. Now it's all dry and I have my photo. Now here's what I love about the photo. My daughter's wearing yellow, one of her cousins is wearing blue, and one is wearing red, and then, well, it's like a pinky red, and then the other one's wearing white. So their shirts were perfect for these colors as well. I love that. So I think this is a great way to use up some of those food icons as well. I know sometimes we have a hard time using up uh, these kinds of icons like that little sunscreen that is something that would be generally hard for me to use but when I'm just talking about summer and I'm showcasing the embellishments like this it just really feels like it works so uh, I'm really happy with the way this turned out in fact it's one of my favorite hip kit layouts I've made in a little while I just felt like I haven't been on my like I haven't my groove left me or something but it's back so <laughs> that makes me happy I made three layouts I really liked in the past uh, few days so Anyway, I'm trying to see if I want to add some stuff behind my photos. So I'm uh, testing out some of the PL cards to see if I want to just make some small layers, but I decide against it. And I am going to use that word summer from the die cut pack for part of my title. And then I'm gonna use those little tiny yellow letter stickers. I think those come in the PL kit um, for the rest of my title. So I'm just gluing down my photo. I'm using some fun foam. It's adhesive on one side, but you have to add adhesive to the other side. So I just used some double-sided tape from Thermoweb. And now I am ready to figure out the rest of this layout. So at this point I was thinking the back was of the layout was a little bit warped. And so I thought like maybe I should try to adhere this whole thing down to another piece of paper so that it can flatten out. So I was trying to see if there would if I had a piece of cardstock from the cardstock kit that would match it well, but I decided not to do that. Um, I will add a little something later, but for right now, I'm just going to rough up the edges of my circles. I'm just using my scissors to do that. You can distress with a distress tool. You can distress with scissors. You can use your fingernail. I've done all of them, but in for these, I just used my scissors. And because they were just plain white circles, I just decided to give them this little edge. I think it would have looked nice if I stitched on all the circles, but since I popped up those pieces, I didn't do that. And also I was feeling lazy, so I didn't do that. <laughs> I've been feeling a little bit lazy to stitch lately, but um, I do have a layout for hip kit coming up where I am going to do a bunch of stitching. So uh, you can look out for that in a future video. But, um, and I don't know why, because my sewing machine is right on my desk, but I just have to move a couple things to pull it toward me. Anyway, whatever. So I got those distressed and now I'm kind of making sure I like the arrangement of them and then I'm going to stick them down. So I'm just using some double-sided tape to stick these down. I wanted something more sticky than just my regular dot roller adhesive just because it is uh, that mixed media background. So I, I could have used liquid glue, but I wanted the flexibility to pull these up if I needed to. And I'm just kind of eyeballing them to make sure that they look straight and I'm not really paying too much attention to it. And it ends up looking fine. I'm not usually too fussed about that, but every once in a while I'll get out my ruler and make sure things are straight. And I think I do get out my ruler for the title, but um, yeah, just, just making my little grid there of nine. And that works out really nicely with enough room for my title to go underneath it and I like how it kind of all rests on that mixed media and the mixed media is mostly just underneath those um, embellishments I just think it looks super cool I was really happy with the way that this turned out so I'm glad I I kept going forging ahead with my mixed media even though I was worried about the way it was looking so turned out good well, <laughs> okay, so I'm just sticking down my title and I'm peeling off the backing off of a bunch of foam because I decided to pop this up too. 
and sometimes that can be tedious. Those kinds of things don't bother me. I did get out my ruler, as you can see, to make sure that this is lined up nicely, and I just tried to make sure it was centered underneath those circles, and it's not really, it's not exactly centered, but, um, you know, whatever. I'm okay with it. So I'm putting the word cousins underneath. So summer cousins is my title, which is kind of weird, but uh, it makes sense when you read my journaling about Mally going to hang out with her cousins every single day. They live close. Um, a bunch of her cousins, well, most of her cousins live really close, one of them within walking distance. And so uh, she's been hanging out with them a lot. So I'm kind of trying to decide how I can embellish this just a little bit more. I don't want too much because I've already got my kind of main focal area going on next to the photo, but I thought maybe it would be nice to have something on the other side. So I pulled out the floral die cuts, which I think came in the embellishment kit. Um, and I will have the products linked in the video description so you can check it out. But uh, I'm just kind of creating a little floral cluster to the bottom left of the photos. And these die cuts match perfectly uh, with the other die cuts. They're both exclusive to the Hip Kit Club this month. And so um, it worked out really nice. So I'm just kind of building a little bit of an arrangement here. A few flowers, some leaves, and um, calling it good. Just making like a little almost photo corner with those leaves. And I'm really happy with the way that turned out. So uh, it was I was able to mimic all the colors on the right hand side um, and bring them over here just a little bit uh, here and there with each little piece. So that made me happy. And I like to overlap things onto my photo because I feel like it makes things it makes it feel included. When I had it to the left hand side of all these embellishments, it felt like it it I mean, it matched, but it didn't feel like it belonged necessarily. And now I feel like it really belongs on the layout. So I'm playing around with some of these little tiny word die cuts that came in the embellishment pack that's in the main kit. And I just pulled a whole bunch of them out because I was trying to see if I could add a few. I did add one next to the word cousins, and I'm thinking about adding a few on top of the florals or adding another little floral cl cluster at the top. Just trying to decide if I need that. I decide, no, I do not need that. <laughs> and I just add one more little word strip beneath the the other word strip. <laughs> and then I am going to put my journaling on, I believe, after I finish popping up uh, a few of those leaves. Oh, I forgot I did add some of these enamel dots. The colors of these enamel dots are so gorgeous. And I just decided to kind of scatter them all around the circles in the center. So I tucked some of them underneath a little bit and um, just used a bunch of different colors. And I think that just adds a little something extra. I thought about adding some thread a la Missy Whitten again, um, but I didn't. I, <laughs> I just decided against it but I think it would look cool I love I've done before where I do like a circle of thread and staple it to a circle and I think that looks really cool and it could have looked really awesome underneath these embellishments but I did not do that so I'm using my t-square ruler again to just draw some lines to journal on with my black Muji pen which is my favorite and I'm just trying to make it so that it's the same length or it goes down the same amount as kind of the blue mixed media a little bit. And I'm just writing about how my daughter's been all over to her cousin's houses every single day this summer. Even though we haven't had a big vacation planned, she has had plenty to do just from hanging out with those girls. So um, it's been a good summer for her. So at the very end, I decide to add just a little bit of something something to the background. And I grabbed a patterned paper. So this layout is created exclusively with die cuts until I add this pattern paper. Um, and this is the Bella Boulevard pattern paper that comes in the main kit. And I decide to just cut a little piece out of the background and then add a little pop of that behind. Again, I'm copying Missy on this page, but how can I help it? Because her layouts are always glorious. So um, I cut a bigger piece out of the bottom since there was more white space at the bottom. And I will add that strip down there as well. And then um, after I completed this, I kind of thought maybe it needed a little bit of black. And so I added a few black splatters, but I kind of wish that I wouldn't have honestly, but 
I did it and it's done and it looks okay. So I'm going with it and that will complete this. So I have some close up photos coming up. I hope that you enjoyed. If you haven't checked out the hip kits, they're awesome. I'm so excited every month, genuinely excited when I get these kits. Um, there's always lots of pretty new things to play with. I love the exclusives uh, and I love the other items that are included in the kits as well. So thank you so much for watching and be sure to check out the video description if you have any questions about anything that I used. Here are a couple other videos you might enjoy and I hope to see you back here again soon.